let me explain it back to you the way you just explained it to me <laughs> off camera because okay. I don't want people to be confused. Okay, right. so end tidal CO2 will go down when you're hyperventilating. And where this confuses people is they look at one waveform and they see a number that says 20 and they say, okay, they're breathing off less CO2. That must mean they're retaining some. No. What's happened is that over time they have breathed off so much CO2 that they've lost it, and that's why that number is down. So you just don't want to get confused there. Right. A, a, an end tidal reading of 20 10 times is 200 overall, right? An end tidal reading of 30 5 times is only 150. So in the higher number per breath, I gave off less CO2 overall. In the lower number per breath, because there's way more breaths, I'm giving off more CO2. Right. So just remember... When you're hyperventilating, you're still kicking off way more CO2 than when you're breathing normal. Yep. The number, though, the individual breath number is going to be lower. Yes. Correct. And that's like the hardest thing to understand when it comes to capnography. Right.